Hello, Barbara Ann Mojica, aka Little Miss History, with you for another session of the Two Minute Teacher. How to set up a mini lesson in just a couple of minutes. Today's topic is expanding sentences using a subject and predicate. As an added bonus, the activity will also help enhance a child's fine motor skills. To do this activity, you will simply need the template that is on my Pinterest board. It comes from education.com. You can get the link in the notes below this video. And you will first ask the child, do he or she remember what a subject and predicate is? A subject is the part of the sentence that tells you who or what is doing something. It is the name of a person or thing. The predicate is the part of the sentence that displays some type of action or movement. What that person or thing is doing. Now, on the first part, the first page of the template, you're going to see mix and match. There will be nouns, the subject part, predicates, which will be the action part. First, ask the child to review and see which might match up. So pick out a noun and a predicate that would go together. After the child has done that, take the scissors and cut out the nouns and predicates. On the second page, you will do the pasting. So the child will put the noun and then the predicate that matches it. After that's finished, you're going to ask the child to expand, make their thought a little bit more descriptive by using an adjective. So go back to the first sheet and look at the adjectives. When you look at all of the adjectives, ask the child to pick out an adjective that matches the sentence they created so far and expands its meaning. After the child has looked at all of them and looked at their choices on the other page, cut out and paste, put the adjective in the box next to the noun and predicate. They now have an expanded sentence. I hope you've had fun with this little activity. If you did, please click subscribe and hit notifications to get new teaching lessons each Friday. And even more resources are available on my website, www.littlemisshistory.com. Till next time, bye.